So today I'm in the studio and I want to talk to you a little bit about commissioned art. Um, a question I get very frequently is, do you do commission art? Other people ask, like, do you take requests? Do you do custom work? So all of those things fall under um, commission pieces. Um, some people aren't aware of the terminology, which is totally fine if you're just starting your art collection. I just want to break it down to you a little bit in terms of what the process looks like. And the answer, the short answer is yes, I do take commissions. Uh, first of all, what is commission art? Um, commission art is just a custom or requested piece from an individual or business or even sometimes the government um, to an artist that that individual business um, or a corporation wants um, to create something that really suits them in a custom way. Some of the reasons for creating custom art or commissioning an art piece would be that you love the artist's work, but um, it's either too large or too small for your space, for your needs. So you want something larger or something smaller or something that fits a very specific budget that you have. Um, another reason would be that you love a certain painting, but you want that painting or something similar in different colors. So you have a very specific color palette, either for your home or office. Sometimes businesses have certain corporate colors and you want something done in those colors. And um, so I'm going to show examples of all of these things. But the bottom line is that there are many reasons why people will commission a piece. Um, sometimes it's very personal, like you want a portrait of yourself or of your family or of the landscape that you grew up in. So um, there are many reasons for commissioning an art piece. Step one in commissioning art is deciding what you want, of course. Uh, do you want something similar to the artist's work, just in a different size or different color um, or a different price range? Or do you want an entirely different, brand new, unique concept, such as a portrait of yourself or a family member um, or a celebrity that you like that you want a portrait of or something like that? So if it's a, a brand new concept, then um, that is kind of a different process somewhat than commissioning an artwork, like a remake of a similar art piece in different colors or different size of something the artist has already made. But in either case, those are both called commissions and you'll begin the process with the artist. Step two for commission art is you are going to agree on a size, a price, of course, materials and the subject matter for the commission. So you want this all in writing, whether it's through e emails or chat or somehow documented um, that you have agreed to a specific size, a specific medium. So you know if it's going to be a drawing or a painting or a sculpture, that would be important to know. And um, also the colors, if there are specific colors you want included, that should be stated. Make sure the artist knows exactly what you're looking for because artists can't read minds, of course, um, and are always going to be tending to make the visual choices and decisions that suit their um, gaze or their eye for color and that kind of thing, unless you state specifically that you want this painting to be in black, pink, and purple it may not be in just those colors. So make sure that you really are clear about what you're looking for for your custom piece. So this, the um, third step to commissioning an art piece is to pay your deposit. And the reason for a deposit or, or an advance um, is that then the artist can purchase the needed supplies and materials and set aside the time to create the work. Um, so most artists right now um, are doing a 50-50 split, so it's 50% down and then 50% when the work is completed. So you'll pay your deposit and in that invoice um, for the payment, it will state, um, I do PayPal invoicing, invoicing, so it states exactly the size, um, the medium, and any other, any other kind of details that we've agreed to so that you have that documentation. 
with your 50% retainer or deposit or advance for uh, the commission. You also should be made aware from the artist of what the time frame will be. Is this going to take one week, six weeks, six months? Um, you should be made aware of that because the next 50% will be due when the piece is completed. So the fourth and final step to the commission is the artist will send you photos of the finished work. Um, if you've agreed to send process pictures in the meantime, that's a separate thing. I don't usually like to send process photos back and forth too much because it can get really confusing because people aren't sure what is done and what's not done and what the artist is already going to do. And so people start saying like, I want to change this, or I want to change that. And sometimes it's just a process of um, drawing or painting and it's hard to explain that process to people. So. I actually just go through um, the process of sending completed pictures once it's it's done. Now, if there's something that the, the purchaser wants changed, like for example, one time somebody wanted the necklace, um, they hadn't noticed in the photo, uh, reference photo they had sent that the necklace was bent. And um, I, I actually kind of liked the way that it bent over the, the shirt. You know, it just was an organic line to me, but they wanted the necklace straightened. And so, um, you know, I was happy to make that adjustment. So something minor like that, of course, you can't repaint the whole thing that if you've already agreed on certain things and the artist has met those standards, then that should be completion of the contract. However, um, if there are just small minor changes, you can always request those. And then um, the artist will, once those changes are done and the, and the portrait is approved, um, go ahead, or the painting, it doesn't have to be a portrait, um, but once it's approved, the commission piece is then varnished and um, shipped. So um, the shipping happens after that final 50% is paid of course, and shipping can happen a few different ways. So for international shipping, I actually invoice that separately and I wait till that's paid before I actually ship the work. Um, for domestic shipping, I ship free for commission art up to size 11 by 14. So anything that's a smaller work, I will just ship that free and you don't have to worry about extra shipping fees or process. Um, for something that's a little bit larger, like a 24 by 36 or something like that, I will take that and um, get it weighed and ship, and then I'll invoice you for reimbursement for that um, shipping. Everything that I ship as an artist, I insure for the purchase price. And so if you're working with another artist, you always wanna make sure that when the shipping happens, um, that ship that shipment is insured for your the full value of what you've paid for the art so that if anything happens in transit you can actually um, get reimbursed or make a claim to the post office or UPS or whoever's done the delivery um, and get your money back or somehow salvage the work so that is the process of commission art and I'm going to show you some examples of some commission art that I've done um, recently and um, Actually, I might even try to find some some older examples as well. I'm not sure if I can. I haven't saved images of all my commission art because I don't typically use those images for prints or um, anything else past the commission because a lot of the requests that I get are for custom portraits um, of family members and things like that. So I don't tend to like make signed prints of those. Um, but the artist does retain copyright, so artists do have the right to make sign prints if they want to, unless the copyright is sold in a separate sale. So if you, um, or there's an agreement to it. So if you have a commission that's maybe, um, of your, of your partner in some kind of, um, I don't know, illicit pose or something, and you want that to remain private, then you can always ask the artist, like, can I, um, can you not post this on your website or not put this in your portfolio? Or um, can we agree? I mean, the artist probably isn't going to be making prints of that or, or you know, sharing it too much, but most things do end up in the artist's portfolio and are seen by somebody eventually 
just in terms of looking at that work. So all the commissions that I'm showing you today, um, people are fine with me sharing. And um, I just wanted to kind of do a little video that shows and discusses the process of commission art so that, that people are made a little bit more aware if you're starting your art collecting um, career and you are um, collecting your first piece or you're just starting your collection, then you want to know that process and you want to be as informed as possible before you make a choice to commission a piece from an artist. I'm going to go in reverse chronological order here. So this is the most recent piece that I did for commission. And this is the photo reference um, that I was given of this little precious baby. And so this is the finished portrait on canvas. And this is an 11 by 14 size. Um, this is another recent piece. This one was interesting because I had to change the entire background. So this was the photo and the background was just very um, plain and um, they wanted a blue background and kind of I also adjusted the eyes to not look as kind of cross-eyed as they were um, looking a little bit in the photo. An interesting commission I got um, just before that one was to do four self-portraits. So this is a painted self-portrait, and then this one is a charcoal on paper self-portrait. So I did um, actually four charcoal on paper, and then I did the one painting. So this is the second one of the charcoal on paper self-portraits, and the third and this would be kind of what a process photo would look like or process shot. Um, as you can see, it doesn't really show what it's going to look like in the final analysis. This is the fourth charcoal drawing from that self-portrait series. And then I got a commission to paint Mike Tyson with these specific colors. Um, and this was a portrait commission of a mother and son. And as you can see, the original photo was very um, blue and they wanted that background removed. And you can see I adjusted the, the necklace in that one, straightened it out. And this is the photo on the left, for the reference photo um, for that particular commission. So I changed a lot about the background in that and adjusted the lighting. And this is another one. This is more of a selfie with filters and sort of a beauty shot that I painted um, that portrait of. This one was interesting as well, more of a historical piece. This is a photo and I worked out the gray scale and blacks and whites for it and painted that portrait. Um, here's another example with the reference photo on the left and then this is the finished piece. And I really like the detail in this one. Um, this was kind of an unusual commission. The client just wanted me to do a piece that was um, a small scale sculpture in a frame at a certain budget price. And so I did that, that particular piece. This is one that I didn't actually get the deposit for before I started. And so I ended up um, actually not selling it to the original client. I couldn't reach them or contact them over a period of time. And so I put it on my website and sold it to a new client. This is a great example of someone who commissioned me to do something in specific colors. So she wanted something that went with some other art that she had and she just was not able to find anything with those that really specific blue tone. Another kind of off base commission in terms of being different than some of my work is this abstract portrait. Um, kind of a tortured abstract portrait and I worked closely with the client to make sure to get that um, correct and and to deliver what they were really looking for. This is an example of a very small scale budget friendly um, couple of portraits and this particular abstract was commissioned again with the the color palette one of my older pieces that I was able to find that was commissioned was uh, this piece that actually was part of a larger series of nature installations that were all made from natural materials and um, placed in a natural environment, actually created in, in a nature preserve. And that was a very interesting commission project. And the oldest commission I could locate was this mural in Jackson, Mississippi, which unfortunately has since been painted over but I worked hard on this with a couple other um, students when I was in college and um, was really proud of it. I love that mural. 
but unfortunately I think they they over um, painted all of the murals on that particular strip or that street so yeah that should show you kind of a pretty wide range of examples of different types of commissions that I've done as well as um, maybe give you some ideas of what type of custom art piece you might want and I know the holidays of course are coming up maybe you want to treat yourself maybe you want to commission something for someone special this is definitely a one-of-a-kind um, piece that you will have that is an original and um, you know it's a great way to start your art collection or to expand an existing art collection to commission a piece from an artist.